Now, in order to start a new nation, we need a constitution. Question is, who among us is going to write this constitution? Mr. Adams, I say you should write it. To your legal mind and brilliance, we defer. Is that so? Well, if I'm the one to do it, they'll run the cool pens through it. I'm obnoxious and disliked, you know that, sir. Yes, I know. So I say you should write it, Franklin. Yes, you. Hell no. Yes, you, Dr. Franklin. You. But. You. But. You. But. Mr. Adams. But, Mr. Adams. The things I write are only light extemporanea. I won't put politics on paper, it's a mania. So I refuse to use the pen in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, refuse to use the pen. Hmm, I know. Roger Sherman, the perfect person to write this constitution. Mr. Sherman, I say you should write it. You are never controversial, as it were. That is true. Whereas if I'm the one to do it, they'll run their quill pens through it. I'm obnoxious and disliked, you know that, sir. Yes, I do. So I say you should write it, Sherman. Yes, you. Good heavens, no. Yes, you, Roger Sherman. You. But. You. But. You. Mr. Adams. But, Mr. Adams. I cannot write with any style or proper etiquette. I don't know a participle from a predicate. I am just a simple cobbler from Connecticut. Connecticut, Connecticut, a simple cobbler he. I know, Livingston, he's the right one. Mr. Livingston, maybe you should write it. You have many friends and you're a diplomat. Oh, that word. Whereas if I'm the one to do it, they'll run the cool pens through it. He's I'm obnoxious a... and disliked, did you know that? I hadn't heard. So I say you should write it, Robert. Yes, you. Not me, Johnny. Yes, you, Robert Livingston. You. But you. But you. But. Mr. Adams, dear Mr. Adams, I've been presented with a new son by the noble star. So I am going home to celebrate and pop the cord with all the Livingstons together back in old New York. New York, New York, Livingston's going to pop a cord. Mr. Adams, leave me alone. Mr. Jefferson, dear Mr. Jefferson, I'm only 41, I still have my virility. And I can romp through Cupid's Grove with great agility. But life is more than sexual combustibility. Combustibility, combustibility, combustibility. Mr. Adams, damn you, Mr. Adams. You are obnoxious and disliked, that cannot be denied. Once again you stand between me and my lovely bride. Oh, Mr. Adams, you are driving me to homicide. Homicide. 